Welcome to Triple Trouble. My name is Chef. I'm Steve. And Steve is going to show you how to make a knocking point and where to put it. Okay everybody, I'm going to show you how to put a knocking point and where to place it. What you're going to need are some arrows, bear shafts, thread, a bow square, uh, a lighter, a knife and some super glue. So let's get started. So at first you're going to put the bow square on as it clicks and you have to look until it slides exactly until your arrow rests and it should just barely touch. So with my bow square I have lines on it and every line is 2 mm. So I'm gonna start with a knocking point on 8 so that will be 2, 4, 6, 8 so exactly in the middle and that is my starting point that I can see where I need to put uh, my knocking point and from there on we're gonna test to see what works best. To start off you're gonna need two small pieces of thread and we're gonna start with the bottom knocking point Place it at eight. So to start off, we're gonna need to take the bow square off, and we're just gonna make a few small knots because this is not my uh, perfect knocking point yet. So we're just gonna make three or four small little knots. That's it for now. What you're gonna need now is an arrow. It's just for the knock. So you put it on. And you press against the knock that is all the way down until your knocking point. So and then you need your other piece of thread. And I always put it all the way against the knock. So I'm just gonna squeeze it all the way in that it, nice, that it is nice and tight. I'm gonna take the knock off. And I'm gonna continue with putting the nuts in. So exactly the same as the lower knocking point. Just three or four, that's enough for testing. That's it. Now you're gonna need the knife. To cut all the pieces off. Now we're going to turn around the bow in our bow stand. Take the lighter and just burn the small pieces off. It is really important to turn around the bow, otherwise the flame will gonna damage your serving. Now I'm going to set up the bow and we're going to shoot at 30 meters to see where we're at. So as you can see, I have a group right here and my bear shafts are lower than my group. That will mean that I have to put my knocking point a bit lower than I had before to get these arrows in the group. So as you could see, my arrows were not in the group. So I'm gonna uh, redo my knocking point and put it on six so I can have a reference if it will work. But to make sure you're not gonna cut in your serving, you have to put the flat side of your knife against the serving. So you will make straight cuttings into the knocking point. As you can see now, we have a good group. The 
one with the red knocks is the group and the one with the green knocks are in the group so this is exactly how I want my knocking point. Now everything is set, now I'm going to show you guys how I put a knocking point on and my bow is almost ready to shoot. So basically I'm going to do exactly the same thing as we did before. So I'm going to put the bow square on but the main difference now is I'm going to make a knocking point with 15 knots instead of 4. So to make sure I have a perfect knocking point, I'm gonna make a knocking point with 50 knots and each and every knot is on a different side of the string. So I'm just gonna do it until I have 15. So as another step of my permanent knocking point, I'm gonna put on the super glue. When you put on the super glue, just let it dry for about 15 minutes because it's flammable material. So when you want to burn it off, your whole string will be on fire. So don't do that. Just put it on and let it dry for 15 minutes. So for everyone at home, this is just normal super glue what you can get in every store. So it's not archery specific, just normal super glue. So Steve's knocking point is completely done. Um, it seems like he's ready for the next step of tuning. And if you want to see that next step, uh, please stay tuned and uh, subscribe to our channel because in the next coming weeks we'll uh, upload some more tuning videos. See you next time. See you.